I'm Joe Bainey, responsible master plumber for John Moore Services. Today I'd like to talk to you about galvanized pipes. Galvanized pipes is a piping system that was used in majority of homes built before 1981. It's a supply system that carries hot water and cold water to all your fixtures and your, your faucets and toilets and tubs. Now on the outside, a lot of times galvanized pipe will look like it's good. Um, the, the reason it looks like that is because it deteriorates from the inside out. Uh, with the water we have in Houston, it slowly eats away the inside. It rust builds up and it'll eat holes through the outside of the pipe. Eventually can lead to cancer marks like this, which can flood a house. They start small and they grow. This one probably leaked 10 or 15 times before there was enough visible damage in the ceiling above to show you there was a problem. Another issue with galvanized pipes, as they corrode and build inside, they also restrict the flow. You actually lose pipe size. Uh, as you can see, mountains of rust have, have formed in the line of pipe, reducing the volume that goes through and the pressure that you'll receive at the, at the end use. Uh, secondary issue with this buildup on the inside is when you turn a faucet on that you haven't used in a day or two, you may get brown water. When it comes to a leak in the house, yes, you can repair it. And a repair of a simple section of the pipe is possible. It's not a solution, it is a band-aid. Once you repair a bad section of pipe, you still have other bad sections of galvanized pipe in your house. So yes, you've corrected the one issue you have today, but you may have created another issue down the road in a different room, a uh, different location of your home. The true solution to galvanized pipes that are starting to cancer and leak and drip uh, in your ceiling is to repipe the whole house. Uh, it sounds like a big chore, and it is. It's a big job. But it's not the way it used to be 20, 30 years ago. We don't have to gut your house. We don't have to tear it apart. Uh, we use a new product nowadays called PEX piping. It's flexible. We can work it into spots where rigid solid pipe couldn't go, which means instead of cutting a whole wall open to make a repair, we only have to make a little access hole where we want it to come out of the wall, and then we can feed it from the ceiling above. In most cases, the, the, the damage to a house during a repiping is very, very small. Uh, the good thing about repiping with PEX pipe is the water doesn't affect it. It doesn't corrode inside. I can cut this piece of pipe out and we can replace it, but that's not a total solution. Yes, it does fix the leak and it's a short-term solution to get the water back up and running and stop the damage. And, and some homeowners, that's all they want to do. Now you have to keep in mind that if that's what we do, you are going to have more problems just like this down the road. And that's what we want to do. We want to prevent those future issues down the road. 